A year ago, the Catholic Diocese launched a campaign called Real Presence, Real Future to address the growing needs of parishes throughout Central Ohio. The important work of the campaign, initiated by Bishop Robert Brennan, has continued despite the fact that he left Columbus last November. NBC4's Audrey Hassan joins us now in the newsroom with an update as the diocese awaits the appointment of a new bishop. Audrey? Colleen and Carrie, the new bishop will play a key role in the campaign because no final decisions can be made without him. But the work of listening to the needs of parishioners, volunteers, and clergy members across the diocese has continued. Real Presence, Real Future just released a new set of draft models designed to group parishes and resources together amid a shrinking number of active priests. Jesus Christ is the center of our faith. Father Adam Streitenberger and Father David Schalk say they want to evangelize across the Diocese of Columbus through the Real Presence, Real Future campaign. Part of that evangelization also means planning, where are we going to best use our resources in the short term and the long term. Both say the 2022 Lenten season has brought a number of parishioners back to the pews since the pandemic forced many to watch from home. But assessments done through the campaign determined the diocese has experienced about an 18% decline in mass attendance. Part of the reality is a demographic changes. So it's there aren't people in the pews, but there is the reality of a shortage in priests and uh, an emphasis on both evangelization and vocations, I think will address those. The round two spring draft models have been released showing the potential plans for parishes to merge, share resources, and in some cases, close. More feedback is coming in and we're so thrilled about that. We want to know what people think about the plans, about the future. So we'll have a better understanding really in the weeks and the months ahead. And they both encourage parishioners to give feedback as they continue to analyze the needs and concerns across the diocese. No final decisions in the campaign can be made without the new bishop. We as the church and as the priests of the Diocese of Columbus can work on this plan together as sort of a gift to the new bishop to discern and, and to get a real good picture of where the diocese is. Both priests say they want to consult with as many people as possible, so the new bishop has a complete report on his desk when he arrives. When I asked if they had any idea when the bishop might be assigned, they both chuckled and said, it's in the <laughs> Lord's hands. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs>